Personally, I think Lubbock should be considered the true Windy City. I think it's time for Chicago to go ahead and give up that title. Well, this crazy wind we've dealt with can be a problem for pet owners who have master escape artists. So what if you need a good fence repair, but you just can't afford it? KBK's Landry Senna tells us that Lubbock Animal Services is actually here to help. Landry? Matt, for the first time, LAS is putting on what they call Helping Hands Fence Repair. They're striving to collect donations and supplies to help those that maybe can't get fences repaired on their own and hopefully prevent any animals from escaping and ending up on the street. We get calls out every day and usually it is for fences. Mostly elderly, low-income people try to keep their animals um, contained inside their yard. A lot of them have issues and that's why we get a lot of stray dog call calls. And animal services aren't the only ones who get calls about it. It's kind of like the wind and dogs around here keep us pretty busy most of the time. Lee Noble with Noble Fence says some types are better than others when it comes to containing your pets. Chain link fences are good for being able to see through and then maybe not get so anxious. And if you do a wood fence, it catches a lot of wind, which is what we get a lot of around here, of course. One other option is, is a concrete footer underneath the fence. If it keeps your digging dog in, it's, it's well worth it to install that. But for LAS, they're just trying to help themselves by helping those in Lubbock keep their dogs in the yards. We are a city department and we have more connections, so we have more stuff we can go out and try to get some donations. We're trying to just help out the community as best they can um, with stuff that people can't afford. Any donations are greatly appreciated. It can be wood fencing, metal fencing, chain link, anything that anybody can donate. As long as we get enough stuff, then we can go out and set this project going. And once they have enough supplies, the dates to go out and repair fences will be set. We can always have somebody going out there and do the best they can, even if it's just one house at a time. Of course, there will always be fences that need repairs, so LAS tells me they're trying to make this a regular thing. And like Smith said, they're always accepting those donations, volunteers, and supplies. If you're interested in giving to the shelter in any of these ways, you can contact them at 806-775-2057. And make sure you follow the Lubbock Animal Services Facebook page as well.